as you remember in the last video we learnt about the largest ocean of the world and that is the pacific ocean so today in this video we will learn about the other important oceans of the world right so you must have seen the movie titanic what exactly happened the titanic ship sailed from southampton england and it was going towards new york city but somewhere it hit an iceberg and drowned it happened in the atlantic ocean atlantic ocean is the second largest ocean of the world after the pacific ocean now let's locate atlantic ocean so you can see here that this is atlantic ocean left to which we have north america and south america while on the right side we have asia and africa so if we zoom in we see that this is the north atlantic ocean while if we go down we will see the south atlantic ocean as you can see here right so again we zoom out and if you have a good look at this particular ocean you will notice that it is in the shape of an s right so now you know that the atlantic ocean is the second largest ocean of the world with an s shape on left we have north america and south america and on the right we have asia and africa now if you remember from the last video just like the equator divides the pacific ocean into north pacific ocean and south pacific ocean similarly it also divides the atlantic ocean into north atlantic ocean and south atlantic ocean right now we must also remember that atlantic ocean is one of the most busiest oceans of the world why is it so talking about many years ago you know europe had spread its colonies all over the world so when it came to north america it had stolen or taken away a lot of raw materials at a very cheap price now these raw materials included whale oil lumber fur silk indigo sugar and many other such raw materials so after taking these raw materials back to the country they used modern machines and equipments and manufactured them into goods now they came back with these goods to these countries and sold them at a higher price so they were earning profit right similarly they also took away gold from africa as you know that africa has huge reserves of gold mines right and it imported guns cloth and iron to this particular country on the other hand slaves from africa were taken to north america from the same atlantic ocean so atlantic ocean holds a lot of historical importance did you know that the atlantic ocean is getting wider every year and how is that possible well there's a secret this is because of the presence of the mid atlantic ridge right at the center of the atlantic ocean now this ridge is placed at the seabed of the atlantic ocean and due to the oozing out of the magma along this mid atlantic ridge what is happening is it is pushing away the eurasian plate and the african plate from the north american plate and the south american plate this is the reason why the atlantic ocean is getting wider every year right now another mystery so just like the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean has an unsolved mystery so what is the mystery the mystery is the mystery of the bermuda triangle as you can see here now what exactly is the mystery it is believed that the planes when they cross over this region they tend to vanish now where do they vanish now some researchers believe that there is a presence of magnetic field that attracts the plane 
right? But this mystery is still unsolved and the research is still going on. Let's move on to learning the third largest ocean of the world and that is the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean lies right below the Indian subcontinent here. So you can see here, here we have India, right? And left to the Indian Ocean, we have the African continent. While on the right side, we have Australia. So this is where the Indian Ocean is located. Also, we know that the Indian Ocean is triangular in shape. So if you have a close view, you will understand that it has a triangular shape. Also, south of the Indian Ocean, we have the Antarctica continent. Another important point is due to its high temperature, marine life is very limited in the Indian Ocean. Also, talking about the size, it is about 5.5 times more larger than the USA. So now, can you help me answer this question? Which is the third largest ocean of the world? The Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean? Well, the answer is it is the Indian Ocean which is the third largest ocean of the world. Coming to the fourth largest ocean of the world and that is the Southern Ocean or the Antarctic Ocean. So where is it located? Right below the Indian Ocean, we have the Southern Ocean. As you can see here. So this is Antarctica and right above it, we have the Antarctic Ocean or the Southern Ocean. Now because it has a freezing temperature as it lies near the polar region, the marine life is very limited. Now, as you can see here, we have the country India. Now, moving upwards, that is right above the Asian continent, we have the Arctic Ocean, that is the fifth largest ocean of the world. The Arctic Ocean is right near the Arctic Circle, that is in the North Polar region. Again, due to its presence near the North Pole, it has sub-freezing temperature and again, the marine life is very limited here. So now that the Arctic Ocean is very shallow, it remains frozen for most of the year, which enables animals like polar bears, seals and walrus to survive. So a very limited number of animals are present or survive in the Arctic Ocean. Now let me tell you a story. In 1992, a ship sailed with 28,000 plastic ducks and somehow it submerged in the Atlantic Ocean. Right? Now somehow these plastic birds emerged after many years at different parts of the world. As you can see here, they moved from the Atlantic Ocean to different parts of the world and were found. So what does this tell us? This tells us that the oceans are connected. Right? So now that we know that the oceans are connected, we must remember not to pollute it. If we pollute a part of the ocean, it is obvious that it may flow to other parts of the world and pollute the other water bodies. So polluting the ocean is causing harm to us in return and the marine life that exists below the water surface. Right? So in conclusion, we can say that we have learnt about the other four important oceans of the world, how each has a special characteristic to it. And we have also learned that the oceans are connected. So we must be responsible and not pollute the water bodies in any way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5,000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock test. 
get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now